Hey, Wazy C, and welcome back to the channel. My name is G, and in this video, I just wanted to go over what happens at the end of the month after you hit the 75 rating to get the seed allocation from DowerX. So, let me just jump straight into the screen and see where we are. Alright, so this is the email that I got today. Today is uh, February the 1st, 2024. And you can see here, congratulations on your professed performance. Uh, Alright, so we get in the allocation 15% performance fee would be for the next three months because each seed allocation that you get uh, would only be available for three months while in silver but if we do uh, 25k this month we could do 25k next month that would be 50k in total and then the third month we could do you know probably an next 25 or more and it would add together but on the fourth month this first allocation would you know disappear so that is where we are um so starting from the first of february which is today we got the actual 25k so first i'll show you the uh, performance for the account itself and then we'll look at that one so if we refresh this this is the my fx book right um this is where we at so we have 18.5 percent and then we had a 10% drawdown. Uh, we had a. Hmm, it was a lot of a range in the market this week. And uh, we did have a drawdown and we traded. We bought traded the way out of it. So that was fine. Um, but yeah, we had 18%. And you see, in total so far, we took 582 trades. We made 16% in January. And we still at 1.74% in December last year. So if we head over to Darwin, I would refresh it. So once you get the Darwin on the once you get the allocation on the first, I should say, uh, they reset the rating. Uh, my rating was reset to 70. Now I am not sure how they determine where they go to reset it. Uh, because if someone was you know, at a lower rating, I don't know if they would reset it higher. So I'm really not sure how that part of the process works when they reset it. Um, but yeah, it was reset to 70 and well, the bot took a couple trades today and it back up to 71.1. So, you know, that's where we are. Uh, but on the account after the risk engine, uh, goes through the process and mitigates risk from the, the strategy itself. We had 6.31% and 2.48% drawdown. So i pretty happy with that. You can see we have one allocation here and this is the 25k, right? Um, if you look how far we are from getting to the goal stage, we need to get a 20% return, so we are at 627 right now, and we are sticking with in that 2.5 to uh, 2.5 uh, return to the drawdown ratio that they're looking for. So, you know, this is this is positive. Um, if we look at the rating calculator, which I found was pretty interesting. Now, I know they do the rating calculator based off of the past five months, the drawdown, and then your expected return for the current month. So, um, based on how I know this bot trades for the last two months, I would say conservatively, if we make 3% alone this month, we could see what would happen. So if we do a re return at 3%, right, 3%, uh, you can see it would take the rating to 83.43 and that would give our allocation a 80, um, 65. So that is crazy. Um, if we did something like what we did this month, which is around 5%, then it would be 89.36, and that would be allocation at 370k. So at the end of the day, uh, this is supposed to be a long-term race. This isn't trying to swing for defense in one week, one month. 
as so i would trade the bot as is um and i would see how how things work out if i choose to reduce risk a bit it it may just be uh drop any risk percentage on the uh the way it calculates the lot size so you know we'll see how that works out but um but yeah for now i i would actually be targeting like around three percent if possible i mean even if you do four percent four percent i think was a crazy number yeah at, at four percent you already hit you know three three seventy five so that's insane and i think this has a lot to do with uh, your past performance over the last five months and then if we maintain this this drawdown at 2.48 so i mean even though it's a calculator it's really difficult to see because you have no idea what your drawdown will be you have no idea what your return will be so the only number that we know is this this is the only figure that we have for now and this can vary so yeah uh that's where we are so at the moment we have the 25k and i can show you the actual signal itself so this is the signal you see we had the drawdown here quite a bit of drawdown uh, but the account itself is at 18 percent return so yeah that is where we at uh i had some issues this week because i have um other accounts that is following this master account which is the now next account but anyone who uses this trade copy and knows that for the last i guess two weeks they had some issues First, they had an issue with the MD5 connection, and now they have an issue with the MD4 connection. So you can see, like, these aren't even open positions. Everything is zeroed out right now, and it's just just stuck. Um, and because of this, because of this problem, it messed me up with this um, True Forex Fund it's 10K challenge account because the bot kept trading on. The DAO next account, but the connection was dropped, and it wasn't taking any trades on the um, True Forex fund. So that that kind of screwed me over a bit. I still have the account, but I basically need to start over from scratch. Um, I made three percent on that account and gone. So yeah, that's where we at. Right. So yeah, um, if you enjoy the content don't forget to like comment and subscribe um let me know what you want to see in the next video uh i have some indicators i want to start back working on indicators to uh upload and give out for different strategies that i actually traded now i wouldn't be uploading my bots but i'd upload indicators that um basically work off of the same strategy itself all right and I, what I'm doing, or what I started to do, if I if I given all the indicators, it would be a direct integration to certain brokers. So you would only be able to use it on certain brokers. So yeah, um, that's where we are. I'll keep you guys updated with how that progress comes along. I just been so busy here working, even though I'm in the Philippines, crazy. Yeah. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.